I think 40 should be should be a good number. You know, uh, within the 40, we can be changing. Yeah, exactly. But we'll keep the number 40, and then we'll be looking at it. You know, as time goes on, you know, we'll be looking at the performance, which was which will be the most important thing. Mm. You know, we, I will not call players based on their names. Yeah. You know, because he's uh, Siki Akono and he's playing uh, Manchester United. I should invite him. No, is he Manchester United? What is he doing? Is he doing well? Is he playing? Is he playing the second team? Yeah. Is he regular? Is he scoring? Okay? And then you look at somebody who is playing Asante Kotoko. And somebody who is there and not playing. It's a, it's a, it's a big challenge, a big yeah. question for me. Uh, what is he doing? And once I'm able to see that player who is doing very well, uh, I have my imagination, I have my philosophy yeah. and what I want to do. And so it will be based on more or less performance and of course attitude also mm. out, of, out of the field of play so if i get you the 40 the, the 40 call that you have in your database if do some in the 40 are not performing of course they will go out and we'll get exactly. new players exactly. uh, you know for in. ghana we have more than 10 yeah okay but because i'm here we'll have a you know a chance to see them yeah, exactly and it's, you you'll be surprised you go somewhere like you probably maybe Media Matakwa, mm -hmm. and then you see a new, a new, a new boy, oh, a new kid wow. on the block, and then you pick him in. Mm. That was Coach Sike Akono back when he was hired as the Black Stars coach in 2020 January, talking about choosing from a pool of 40 players, and that would be the core of his team. Fast forward uh, 20 months later, and it looks like he has uh, skewed from that. He has caught up close to 75 players for the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, with this help from Joy Sports, Oriku and Propo, uh, we look at the breakdown of CK Akono's collapse and why it might not be entirely his fault that the Black Stars are declining or could be entirely his fault that the Black Stars are declining in this way. He has not stuck to his game plan and probably influences within the FA are to blame for that. We'll have a look at all that today. We'll also be talking about another curious case of Ama Pele, who is Elizabeth Addo, the captain of the Ghana Black Queens. Yes, uh, yesterday the 23-man squad, uh, which were going to play for the Black Queens in the Aisha Modi Cup in Nigeria, have been called and she was excluded. Apparently, it was because of something she tweeted a couple of weeks back, demanding for something better in terms of preparation for the black queens ahead of their qualifiers with nigeria and was asked to take it down and uh, she made a whole fuss about it and because of that she has been excluded from the squad we're talking about that also here today as usual subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates before we get to that elizabeth ado situation there with the Ghana Football Association will dial into the Ghana Black Stars coaches who has become a person of interest the topic of discussion this whole week uh, following that disappointing defeat to South Africa in which we had the lowest XG uh, of any game since the data was made available in 2019 it has come to the point where we need to discuss uh, what the game plan is for the Ghana Black Stars and uh, if you look back at that interview I brought to you at the start of this video, it looks like CK Akono, either he has been influenced to deviate from his plan or he has had a really, really 360 change of mind. CK Akono, at the start of his tenure, said he would call 40 players in their records. They will form the core of the Ghana Black Stars. Initially, in his first call up in March, he called up close to 30 players. and those players were now turned down after he made that call up again seven months and now because of of the players that were called up out of 75 the 75 seven were goalkeepers seven different goalkeepers 25 were defenders 26 midfielders and 16 were strikers the eminent question is why the need for so many players well you can argue out the fact that COVID made things one time uh, difficult because you never know which player would be available so yes i could pardon him on that but from this pool of 40 players i would think that 
it will be enough for Siki Akono to select an 11 or 18 man squad at least from them the problem is that when you keep chopping and changing chopping and changing it's very difficult to implant your, your game plan into different players at different times and that goes to cement the fact that Siki Akono has been forced to call up some players despite the fact that he said he wouldn't call players based on reputation he did just that in the recent call-ups we have to be honest with ourselves but it might not be entirely his fault however upon analysis it's revealed that the most of these players just step foot in the Ghana team and never return the players who were called up 31 of them were called up once and never returned you can see them on your screen this is in effect an indictment to the technical team who couldn't help these new players assimilate into the squad and if you call a player for the very first time you do not expect them to hit the ground running some take time i remember kamal din sulemana was called up for the very first time and did not have a good game he was not called up for the next call up and that was quite unfortunate until he made that big move to his current club side Ren and was given a call up again but these guys never never were retained after their very first call up there are other factors as a drop in form age and attitude that could influence a coach's retention rate in the national team setup however when 41 percent of the call ups are never retained then there's a huge gap that needs to be addressed jamie lewelig and steven ambrosius and never honored their call ups and opted for German under 21. And as a result, were never called up once again, establishing a communication gap. I've always said it. Why do you call up players and they will not be able to honor it? You have to call them up. The communication gap was there between the technical team and the players. You have to know that, yeah, he will come and he will honor the call up before making that call majority of the players who were never retained in the black stars barely got minutes to showcase their capabilities at the point it felt like some of the players were called just for the purpose of it and not to contribute on the pitch this is specific this specifically applied to locally based players who were called up by ck recovery entry aj so abalora benefited 10 of the 22 locally based players have failed to register any minutes in the black stars Imori ibrahim glatz nawako and justice blewe handed cameo appearances against Altome and principe he has benefited most with six call up and five the next most is by these players Emmanuel lomote nicolas opoku wakasu andrea ayu jordan ayu thomas party samo owusu raza kabolora and kudus mohammed all deserved but some have been informed and done this tells us the picture of how there are so many hands in the soup worrying CK Akono in doing his duties as a coach of the Ghana Black Stars it's not great it's not great to look at it's not great it doesn't speak well of the whole setup there is no solid framework there is no criteria for collapse all the collapse is like we are chopping and changing uh, try my try my quick my try my quick that kind of thing try and uh, try and error is becoming too much as a national team we should have a solid framework in place uh, to authenticate collapse and to make sure that we call up the deserving players and when the players come they have a system in which to work in but let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this amazing work done by joy sports to reputation with Ghana black stars uh, finally uh, with elizabeth ado peter this and the ministry of youth and sports she said ghana football association we saw nigeria play morocco last night and they gave a beautiful account of themselves this is a team we play a crucial qualifier within a few months time and their preparation is enviable black queens need good international games to get ready please listen to us for once and that is all she asked for she asked for better preparation this was on 14th june and apparently the squad list for a, a mini tournament that's going to be played in nigeria was given and 23 players excluded her Frederick Akomi posted this that mr keto kreku is it true that you demanded her to extract and apologize for this tweet below or be forever dropped from the black queens is that why she hasn't been called up for the upcoming assignment if that is the case it's quite unfortunate and it goes to show how rotten the system is we thought uh, with Kwesi Antichi and the number 12 expose done and dusted 
these things were things of the past. It couldn't have been any wronger than this and it's quite unfortunate that this is happening in a Black Stars fold once again and we are talking about it extensively. But it's quite unfortunate. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on everything. The breakdown of players that have been called out by CK Akono and uh, 75 from 40 to 75 and all that. Let me know what you think in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself.